Good morning everybody. So today is the first day of our two-day orientation. I'm actually going over my friend Sabrina's place right now and it is about I believe 7.53 right now. So it starts around like 8.30 to 9.00. You, you're like able to check in. So I'm just gonna go over Sabrina's. We're gonna have like a little sleepover for the night and then we're just gonna go through orientation together because it's literally all online. But yeah, stay tuned. Uh, a little bit of background about, about me. Uh, <laughs> I have a PhD in Midwestern University. So we're about to start orientation. Okay guys, so we just finished the first half of our orientation online. We did a lot, okay? We took notes. She wrote orientation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then, <laughs> now that we're done with that, we're just gonna like eat some stuff. I literally brought her like a I'm whole. So I literally brought like a whole meal. We just have like a few. Just brought avocado. 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 It's an avocado. So yeah, I'll show you guys what we're gonna eat. We'll be right back. Here we go. So we I have made our some Greek <laughs> vegetables here. <laughs> Carbs here slash protein Watch and then dessert. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> the Just to give you guys a little background about how we met to high school together, um, you yeah. actually transferred her junior year. Yeah, we met our junior year. We were in pre-calc. Yeah, and then we also took calc together. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> that was senior year. But uh, yeah, and then we also went to the same college, but we kind of had like different schedules. So like yeah, different schedules. Yeah, so we didn't like see each other that much, but we saw each other like when we. Yeah, we were in free dental club together. Yeah, so, so I did start seeing you a little like, more. Yeah, volunteering. And yeah, stuff. and then I found out that we got into the same dental school. Yeah, so we are both going to Midwestern University in Illinois. You want to just like give them a little background about yourself and like maybe why you chose dentistry and what your major and stuff like that was? Yeah, so I graduated with a bachelor's in neuroscience. I was always <laughs> interested in healthcare. I kind of explored different fields in healthcare before deciding. She was also like a dental assistant for like many, many years. Like yeah, been so doing it for a while. I assisted um, and that's kind of what got me more interested in dentistry, um, kind of like solidified my choice. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked what I saw when I was assisting. I liked the lifestyle of a dentist. I really liked the hands-on um, concept of, you know, dentistry and yeah, just being able to kind of build that long lasting relationship with your patients and Definitely. yeah, I was really interested, interested. I just like the quick impact of dentistry in general, just on their patients, um, you know, patient has a problem, comes in, gets it fixed yeah. and leaves happily. Yeah, um, So that's really nice too. Um, yeah. And just also like the options that are in dentistry, the different fields that you can go into, mm -hmm. specialties. There's a wide range of... Yeah. So I know you had many different options for dental school. Why did you choose Midwestern? <laughs> um, so I chose Midwestern because, um, well, one, the most important thing for me was just staying in state and staying close to home. Yep. So I really, that kind of narrowed down my options to two schools uh, if I wanted to stay close to home. And uh, specifically chose Midwestern just one was my biggest reason actually was the clinical experience that students get. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know much about Midwestern's program before I actually um, like got my interview and went on the tour, but just kind of after seeing the clinic and hearing different students talk about the different procedures that they've done, um, even as like D3s, you know, comparing them to other students at other schools, it just seems like they have a lot more experience mm -hmm. at such an early start, yep. whereas like, at other schools you might struggle to find like an endo procedure or you know you might never do an implant because other schools have you know those specialists that do those if you could give any piece of advice what would you give to somebody that's applying right now oh for people applying i think my biggest advice usually is just well one stay organized make sure you're submitting everything on time that's really important mm -hmm. if you want to start seeing interviews sooner, then you wanna send in your application sooner. The sooner you send it in, the sooner you'll get your interviews. Also with doing everything kind of early, I um, wanna make sure that you're asking professors for letters of rec early. Um, I know when I got a little nervous. Yours? So don't do what I did. <laughs> um, I actually waited until the, sem so like 
I applied in the summer. I waited until that spring before the summer semester that I applied. Yeah, that's cutting it um, close. Like cutting it close. I thought, honestly, I wasn't going to get any letters. I mean, I ended up with like six to choose from, but that's because I got lucky that mm -hmm. these people actually agreed, like my professors agreed to write them. Definitely. Um, but definitely don't because it was really stressful. Yeah. Um, other than <laughs> that, um, you know, you know, write your uh, personal statement early and do everything else early. Don't wait to volunteer and get your shadowing hours till the last minute because that will just make everything more stressful on you. Yeah, and another big thing is that when you're sending off your application, you have to remember that you, if you still haven't taken your debt, that takes a good two weeks to completely go through. Yeah. So what I kind of recommend and what I've learned from like my mistake was that I like tried to do everything before I took my debt when I'm like, I'm gonna have two weeks to finish everything. Yeah, yeah. So it takes a little while for your debt to completely get submitted. And whenever those two weeks are up, that's when your whole application is completely submitted. Something to consider as well. Yeah, and then there's always like the supplemental applications. Every school yep. has them. And They're that's more money too. Just more so money. You guys know. And some schools will ask for um, an additional essay or two. That is orientation going on right now. <laughs> We're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so another piece of advice that I have for um, students that are applying, I would just say uh, make sure that you're pretty well-rounded with everything. Um, don't make everything about dentistry. That's mm -hmm. something that I really try to stay away from. Yeah, you did that one program where you went like overseas, right? Oh so, like, yeah, you did like, something. That was I awesome. I volunteered um, yeah. abroad. You know, do something that you've always wanted to do. That's something I've always wanted to do was mm -hmm. like go to a different country and just volunteer. No matter what it is, you can be teaching a different language or whatever. Yeah. And you know, you can do service in other ways other than through your pre-dental club. You can, there's so many different opportunities that you can do. And it also gives Definitely. you like more exposure to different things. Plus you, you might find different kinds of people. You meet different people. Yeah. You can find a hobby that you didn't know you would ever explore. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just keep that in mind too. Um, you know, everyone is going to look very similar on paper. Um, you want something yeah. that's going to make you stand out. So whether that's a hobby, something you like to draw, you like to do makeup, whatever it and is. put that in your personal statement. Put everything, yeah. They don't want you to just write about what they already see exactly. on your application. They oh, want to see what's unique about that's yourself. That's another thing too. Yeah. So you don't want to just make your personal statement just what you think they want to hear because yeah. everyone is going to have all of that. And yeah. we all have, you know, we're all going in with our GPAs are all on paper, our DAT mm -hmm. score are all on paper. Um, you want to show them that you're a real person, yep. that you have interests outside of school because trust me, uh, you know, the admissions, they yeah. know that my interest in life has not always been dentistry. Yeah. I don't even know dentistry technically, like I yeah. haven't even started school. And they understand that they're going to be training you for this profession, you know what I mean? So you guys will be seeing a lot of her on my channel. This is just the beginning for us. Um, but yeah, we will see you in the next clip. So guys, I just came to, what is this place called? Mago. Mago Mexican Grill. Yeah, so I just met up some of my friends who are going to school with me. <laughs> so we're just eating some food. If you guys want to try it. This, I know, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ready for <laughs> so yeah, a lot of them are like out of staters and they're all coming <laughs> out here. I love meeting you guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just finished eating. How was your food everyone? So amazing. It was amazing. So, uh, so yeah, we are starting dental school in like how many more days? Like uh, a week. Like a week. Yeah, week. yeah so tomorrow is our like our last day of orientation and we're like so glad. I'm so glad I met you guys. Hi guys. So we had a really long day. This is like the first day of orientation and it was just like general stuff. This first day, it's like all healthcare people starting at Midwestern um, and now tomorrow which is like actually today it's like midnight at this point, we're going to like be more specific and we're going to be placed into groups for just our dental class so yeah we have to wake up at uh, I think seven we're gonna wake up so we have like a good seven hours of sleep you should see someone else maybe try to switch the faces Monday Tuesday change it up Thursday Friday back in love Hey guys, so this is day two of orientation and basically we're actually halfway through orientation right now. Um, it's basically more specific to our class. Um, yesterday's was more about just like general things for like every student that is going to be going to Midwestern outside of the dental world. So today it's more specific about like what to expect for the curriculum, the workload, um, telling us more about our clinical experiences that we're going to be going through. So yeah, we're just like in here, we just took a break, <laughs> but now we're like back and they're just giving us like 
you know, different learning and studying skills. Um, but yeah, how was orientation for you? Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> we just went to Starbucks. I literally got water. <laughs> Hi, we're so excited to start. We're meeting all of like our clinical professors. So this is so much fun. Hey everybody, so we just finished orientation. We just came to get some sushi. How are you guys feeling about everything the past two days? Feeling good? <laughs> like, yeah. So it was like super, we had like a super long day today, honestly. It was just more focused on our dental curriculum, but it was fun and now we're just like relaxing, eating some sushi. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Show up at your house if you let me